The House Committee considering the bill met this week with those who are in favor and opposed to the bill in order to find common ground. And some of the opposition to Lauren's Law is coming from an unlikely source, the namesake of Esther's Law. Do it right. I mean, don't do it halfway. I mean, you did it halfway before, you're doing it halfway again. I mean, that's not the way to get this done. Steve Piscor is the son of Esther Piscor, the namesake of Esther's Law. He spent years getting Esther's Law passed. It allows families in Ohio to place cameras in nursing home rooms. But he says the law has loopholes, making it ineffective. Plus, it should have included other facilities. I'm waiting to get Esther's Law fixed so we can add assisted living facilities and, and uh, group homes into it. And they do the exact opposite. They ignore assisted living facilities and they're ignoring all the problems that our people are having in nursing homes. Mama. Ah, ma, 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 ma. But for Bob Dolenmeyer, cameras in his daughter's bedroom at the facility where she's living may have explained why on two occasions in the past six years she ended up in the ER. Stacy, now 53 years old, was born brain damaged. Steve's home is now more like a law office as he fights with the state to regain the custody he lost six years ago after abuse allegations he says are unfounded. But in the meantime, Lauren's Law, or HB 465, would not only allow him to put cameras in her room, but it would provide him nearly the same compensation Stacy's facility gets from Medicaid to care for Stacy at home. But Bob says he just wants Stacy back. We get along just fine if she comes back to me, her Social Security comes back to me so I can pay for her needs out of the Social Security, we'd be fine. The Medicaid money, see ya, I don't need it. But it would be helpful. I, absolutely. We are looking at the uh, enforcement mechanism that apparently Esther's law lacks. Representative Gene Schmidt of Loveland chairs the committee that is considering Lauren's law. There seems to be concern over oversight. In other words, the fact that parents may exploit this money. They should have money if they're not abusing it, but they shouldn't have money if they are abusing it. And that, David, is the catch-22. How do we make sure that there is proper oversight in those homes? Now, Steve Pisker, who is Esther's son, says that his mom passed away in 2018. He says that she was abused in another nursing home. He got Esther's law passed in 2022 and is now trying to get it fixed. Regarding Lauren's law, Representative Schmidt says that she hopes to get it fixed by the end of June and get a vote on the House floor by the end of summer. Paula? And we will, of course, follow both laws and keep you updated on their progress. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.